And welcome back to more Gravity Rush Remastered. Last time, we woke up from a mysterious dream to find that Cyanea is now living with us. So this time, we're in Freedom Plaza to hear the mayor's big announcement. First Gade, then Cyanea. Dusty aside, I seem to attract the strangest people. Maybe it would be fun to have a roommate, and living with two creators must come with advantages. There was something going on downtown near Freedom Plaza, outside the clock tower, so I wanted to check it out. And over here is Gade. Gade, what are you doing here? Hey, is Sainea here too? The end is nigh. Are you ready for it? The end? What are you talking about? Call it creator's intuition, but I sense a disturbance in the fabric of reality as if a great many things were moving toward their conclusion. It may be your last chance to go to the Rift Plains or to take care of other business. Something big is about to happen. Well, if you say so, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to make sure I'm prepared for whatever you're talking about. Hmm, do I have everything I need? That's up to you. Your fate is in your hands. Come to me when you're ready to begin the end. Oi, cat! Ice cream cone for the road? What's with the crowd? What's going on today? Mayor Danelica is about to make his big announcement. Everyone's here to listen, so today's the day I finally make my big score. This cone's on the house. A dro? Cat, do you know that man? He's Danelica's right-hand man. I've heard nothing but bad things about him. Who, a dro? Don't be silly. You must be thinking of someone else. You are gathered here today to bear witness to history. Today is the day we rid ourselves of the Nevi menace once and for all. Join me in welcoming our new savior. What the heck is that? Their new toy, apparently. Emergency! Incoming Nevi! This way, quick, no pushing. Women and children first. Hmph, <laughs> perfect timing, wouldn't you say? Gade, I'll be right back. Cat, something's not right. Ladies and gentlemen, what a wonderful opportunity to demonstrate the awesome offensive capabilities of the latest in military technology, the sea anemone. Is everything ready? Here, see for yourself. Episode 20, An Unguarded Moment So, even though the military has a very powerful super weapon to fight the Nevi, uh, that doesn't mean uh, we can't help out. So, let's uh, do our part to defeat as many Nevi as we can around the plaza. So, yeah, Anemone is very powerful. Um, it's already defeated quite a few Nevi. Um, compared to us, but the counter in the top right of the screen indicates the total Nevi defeated, including by us and Anemone. But yeah, it basically one-shot that very strong Nevi. Alright, so let's head over here and uh, worry about this next uh, wave. Um, the small Nevi are fairly easy for us to take care of. The, the larger Nevi will probably be best uh, to leave for uh, Sea Anemone. Alright, so one more over here. So the next one is down the stairs. 
And there's another very large Nevi, so yeah, we'll leave that one alone for now and worry about this one instead. Um... Alright, so, uh... Actually, this is the only Nevi in the area, so we might as well try to, uh... Take this one down, even though I'm pretty sure we won't be able to defeat it in time. Case in point. That weapon took out all those Nevi so fast. So yeah, um... Even though we have a few, uh, waves of Nevi to fight, this isn't actually too bad. Partly because we have, uh, a lot of assistance. Um... Also, there's, there's plenty of health in the area to pick up, even if we do take damage, even though it's not as likely because of just, uh, not doing as much fighting directly. Um... Case in point, again. Um, that took out a few, it looked like, or at least one. Uh, and that one even dropped health, even though we didn't fight it directly. Alright, so there's a strong Nevi over there, so let's fly up and try to destroy its cores. Um... It does seem to have a bit of a recharge phase, so it can't fire continuously. How did they make the anemone so powerful? But even with little delays in its attacks, it is very strong still. Um... And it's nice that it's helping us. Um... Alright, so let's head over here and fight this straggler. Their new weapon is a real beast, and glad's on our side. Alright, so we're past, uh, 30 Nevi defeated in total, and one more for us. Alright, so let's keep fighting. Shifter, you are under arrest. Provision 113 of the Anti-Nevi Act. Resistance would be unwise. I'm what? You're arresting me at a time like this? The sea anemone can handle the Nevi. Your assistance is no longer required. We don't need your kind of trouble around our city. I will protect Hexaville now. But what did I do that warrants arrest? Aren't there more important things to deal with? We have to work together to save the city. Orders are orders. Surrender quietly. There's no need for this to get violent, unless you plan on resisting arrest. Well, aren't you a mo- aren't you the model soldier, obeying orders at any cost because it's easier than thinking for yourself? Hm. <laughs> orders, orders, orders. Do you alwe always just do whatever your commander says? I thought he was better than some two-bit yes-man who does whatever the mayor asks. Unica, think about it. If he doesn't need me anymore, What's going to happen to you when it's your turn? Stop talking. No. Then I'll make you stop. Alright, so we are now fighting Unica, who is a fairly powerful opponent. Um, she is very fast, uh, so we have to kind of keep up with her and land gravity kicks whenever possible, like so. I'm going to save my special for a little bit later. Um, for now, let's just rely on gravity kicks whenever possible. Alright, so she's flying over there. The, the best advice I could give is to kind of wait for her, um... to kind of stop moving as much to try to land an attack because of how the targeting... Shifter, why won't you come quietly? It'll be easier for the both of us. I'll decide what's best for me. I'm not going to go quietly, so if you want to arrest me, come and get me. Fine, I didn't want to have to use this, but it seems you leave me no choice. As I was saying, she's a very fast opponent, and uh, because of the targeting system, uh, kind of losing uh, the target a lot on uh, when trying to fight fast enemies, um, it's best to wait until Unica is stationary. So now she's summoning little drones to help her out. Um, by the way, this is actually technically a plot hole if you've not, uh, gone through the DLC. Um, Kat learns her name is Unica in the DLC, so if you've not played that, uh, it might be a little bit confusing actually going from Sea Wasp to Kat suddenly knowing her name is Unica. Um, so yeah, the DLC is very much canon to the story. 
still want to hold on to the special for a little bit later. Uh, for now, let's try to get through this phase. I'm not sure how many more hits this will take to move on uh, to the last phase. Probably a couple more, I think. We're below half health, so we should be a little bit careful. Um, I'm actually going to stop and pick up this health over here. Um, so yeah, overall, this is a fairly tricky fight, but nothing we can't handle. Alright, so... Looks like I'm a little tougher than you thought. Maybe you should run back to your command and request some new orders. I'm tired of you insulting the military, and I'm done taking it easy on you. Engaging safety override. Pulse response and regulator in sync. Output increased to 121%. And now let's use our special uh, to finish this fight. Her health is depleted, so... Um, at this point, I think we have to basically chase after her. Like so. And use our finisher. Mission accomplished. Uh. Cat, talk to me. No. What? You've just committed an act of treason, officer. What are you doing? Where are you taking Cat? My orders come straight from the top. It's not our place to question our superiors. Stop fooling yourself. You say you're here to stop the Nevi, but what are you really after? What? Hey, Pops, that thing's acting funny. Hmm? Commander, something's wrong with Anemone. What? Hang in there, cat. I'll think of... You'd risk disrupting fate? You? I hate to interfere, but I must protect the dream. Guardian, fulfill your role. I release you so that you may free the shifter. You too are but a figment of the dream, and you must fulfill your role as well. Episode 21, No Rest for the Virtuous. <laughs> Shifter, how did you... Surprised to see me? It helps to have friends in high places. 
What's your super weapon doing to the city? And why is it just you out there fighting it? Where's Yuri? Where's the army? The battleship was destroyed, and the chain of command is broken. It's up to me to stop Anemone. Well, it looks like it's doing a bang-up job of handling the Nevi and protecting Hexaville. I'd better get up there and stop it. Shifter, halt! This is a military operation! You'd just be getting in the way! I'll... Ah! Unica! You're wounded! It's just a scratch. If I reroute power to the repair systems, I'll be fine. I'm the only one left to preserve the military's honor. Think of the city b before your stupid honor. This isn't the time to be drawing lines in the sand, deciding who can or can't help. Cat, wait! Anemone, inside it's... I have to stop that thing before it destroys the city. I can't even scratch it. Nothing's working. I'll just have to try hitting it harder. That didn't do anything either. Cat, aim for the exposed core. Uh, Unica. A core, but that would mean the secret weapon is... The military's super weapon is out of control and destroying Hexaville. Each attack against the city raises its destruction level. Once the level reaches 100, Hexaville will be lost forever. We have a timed boss battle against Sea Anemone. So let's destroy the core, or at least attempt to, um, as quickly as possible to minimize the damage to the, to the city. Um, we're almost to half health, um, so just a little bit more should be enough to destroy this core. Um, as long as we get through this fight quickly, it Hopefully won't be able to do too much damage to the city. Uh, it's almost taken care of. And of course it moved out of the way. Um, I'm going to hold on to my special just in case. It is spinning very quickly, so let's try to keep up to the core. There it is. Hmm. They tried to build weapons using Nevi as power sources? Arrogant fools. As if they could control that kind of power. Mayor, wait. Just give the word and I can engage the emergency override. Everything I've worked for depends on the anemone. It would be a small sacrifice to make for the greater good. How could you make that monster? Did you really think you could control the Nevi? That thing's doing more damage to the city than the Nev Nevi ever did. More cores have appeared, and of course it's moving out of range. That was a very, very poorly timed special. Um, so yeah, let's try to keep up with it, uh, and destroy the, the next set of cores. Um, Alright, so we uh, are almost dead actually, so let's uh, back away. Uh, and I think... Uh, instead of trying to hunt down health, um, we are going to use some of the gems we've stockpiled to heal. So, now that we're back to full strength, uh, I think we are going to try to stop this uh, weapon next time. So, thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time for more Gravity Rush Remastered.